Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Mr. Neighbor vs. The World, the show where Mr. Neighbor tests and reviews everything. Today we will be talking about The Hat, a semi-fast food restaurant known for their pastrami. They have multiple locations, but this time, specifically, we went to the one in Glendora. Let's take a look. And here we got some footage of the outside. We've got The Hat, as well as some signage saying world famous pastrami, so we know exactly what we should be expecting. And here, as we're entering, we can get a feel for a nice sort of diner experience. And here I was taking a look at the menu. I'm gonna pause this real quick. They have this giant thing in words, world famous pastrami dip, $11.99. So you know I had to get that. That was the biggest thing on the menu. So that's what I went for. And then we have a cut open of the sandwich. We got a side of fries and we got a big, we got some layers of pastrami, you got mustard and pickles at the bottom. Now the one thing that I had a problem with in this place, I specifically got the pastrami dip and I thought they were going to give me some, you know, sauce or something on the side. But the lady, the cashier lady told me that the top is soaked or dipped or something with some sort of juice sauce. I don't know what it was supposed to be. And so I was picturing pastrami with juice. It's going to be moist. And it's going to be good. But the problem is, I don't think I have a shot of it here. The top bun was dry. And so what's, what happened to the whole pastrami dip? I'm still just looking at the sandwich. It's a good looking sandwich. Don't get me wrong. It's got a lot of stuff going on. Not really. There's three things going on. But it's a good looking sandwich. I just, you know, I was missing the dip. And I feel like I got scammed. What happened to the juice? What happened to the dip? where to go well let's go ahead and talk about what i felt and how i tasted what what do you mean by that as you saw previously you've got layers of pastrami you had the bottom part you had some mustard on there a few pickles and another thing about the sandwich something that i would improve on is i think the mustard goes with pastrami that's the thing but the pickles, pickles also go with pastrami, but they had some pretty big pieces and they were semi-scattered around the sandwich. So some bites I had pickles, some bites I didn't, and I would rather them dice it up. It's probably more work. I don't know. This is just a recommendation. This is what I would do if I had a pastrami shop or something, but dice up the, the pickle and lay it on as a thin spread. Someone like relish or something, lay it on as a thin spread so that you get some pickle in every bite and it's a cohesive, bite instead of having some bites without pickle some bites with it's just you want to have a more consistent experience the top again was missing the the dip the the soak i don't know what happened there i got scammed but the good thing is the star of the show is supposed to be the pastrami right now i'm not a huge fan of pastrami i feel like it can be too salty at most places i've had a few times before but this place, I like the way they do their pastrami. It's one of the signature tastes that I have. It's a, it's a strong, salty taste, usually, I, unless that's the way that people do it, and maybe they do it wrong. But this place, it still has some of that, so it tastes like pastrami, but the thin pieces of the cut, and I, I'm assuming they use the less salty brine. I don't know how they make pastrami. I don't know what I'm talking about. But this was a not as salty, a thinner cut, it was a better consistency. It was cooked better all the way through because the little pieces of fat scattered all around that most meat have, it fell apart a lot better. You know, this was tender. It was juicy. It was good. The main problem I had with the sandwich is, again, the top bun. I was hoping for more juice or something. I They told me it was going to be a dip, so in my head, I already pictured... Uh, you know, like a soaked bun or something. I, I don't know. And you know, if, if you're going to tell me something and you're going to give me something else, that doesn't sit well with me. Now, on to the rating system. Let's go ahead and give award some points to the hat here. I'm going to give them two pastrami dip buns out of 10. So they're starting off low there. But for their pastrami meat, I'm going to give them eight thinly sliced pieces of pastrami out of 10. This pastrami itself was really good. I would come back hopefully they would uh, soak the bun or something i don't know i think that would create a better sandwich but i think they have a right to say that they have world famous pastrami that was pretty good again not a huge fan so i don't know too many other places i don't have a lot of references to base my rating off of but i do think they did a good job on that 
and overall mostly due to false advertising i'm going to go ahead and give the hat seven hats out of ten for this pastrami dip sandwich and finally for our recommendations who or would i even recommend this for i'd say if you don't like things that are overly salted like me i stay away from spam usually you know it's just it's it's a lot it's a very concentrated thing i like this place and if i ever wanted pastrami again i'd probably only go here in terms of pastrami i can comfortably say that the hat has the best pastrami i've had so if you're a pastrami person definitely go try the hat compare it to other pastramis you've had and if you want to also get into pastrami and you don't want to have that super strong taste then i'd say also give the hat a shot i think they do their pastrami very well it's not an overpowering taste it's not a lot of salt i think they did a great job here and that brings us over to the end of the show if you had fun if you liked what you saw go ahead and give us a like and subscribe let me know what else mr neighbor should test review do anything and i'll see you all later